Hey Takuma, Larissa here. I'm your youth training and employment officer. Fun fact about me, I love water. Rivers, waterfalls, lakes, beaches, pools, I love them all. Now, technically I can't officially swim yet, but I'm definitely working on it. Speaking of bodies of water, I want to take some time to talk to you guys about possibly the largest body of water that ever existed, the flood. Now back then, the world was in a pretty similar shape as it is in now. Immorality, wickedness, chaos was rampant. The Bible says in Genesis 6-5 that when God looked at the extent of human wickedness on the earth, he saw that everything they thought or imagined was constantly and totally evil. It was so bad, the passage went on to say that God was sorry that he had ever made them and was prepared to destroy every living thing and start over. However, verse 8 of that same chapter says that a man named Noah found favor with God. Now this story is familiar to most, if not all of us, Noah and the ark. God shared his plan to destroy the earth by flood with Noah. He gave him very specific instructions on how to build the boat. Many Bible scholars said that prior to the flood, rain had never fallen on the earth. So the idea of rain and so much rain that it would cause a flood was probably quite difficult for the people of that day, including Noah and his family, to conceptualize. But for over a century, Noah was faithfully obedient to God, to his will, and to his plan. In spite of everyone around him doing the opposite, he obeyed and built that boat. In spite of ridicule and mockery, he obeyed and built that boat. In spite of not knowing exactly how God was going to work things out, he obeyed and built that boat. He remained obediently faithful to God, to his will, and to his plan. On our Christian journey, we may face similar challenges. As a Christian, we think, act, and speak differently to the world, and we may be ridiculed and mocked for it. However, just as Noah and his family received that sign of hope as a rainbow in the sky, so we too can be hopeful that our faithful obedience to God will be rewarded when our Savior breaks the sky and returns to take us home. Takuma, I encourage us, in spite of whatever is happening in the world around us, in spite of whatever challenges we may face, continue to remain faithfully obedient to God. Will you pray with me? Father in heaven, we are so thankful that you are always faithful to us. Lord, we pray that you will give us the strength to remain faithful to you. Even when we don't understand your plan, even when we are unsure of where you are leading or how you are leading, I pray that we would trust in who you are as our God and that we would remain faithfully obedient to you, to your will and to your way. In your wonderful name we pray, amen.